In today's Sunday Solution, we're going to repair some LED lights. It's time for another Sunday Solution. Let's, Let's go. go. So a few months ago, my lovely wife was sitting at her little desk over here and she was working diligently and one of these lights exploded. And when I say exploded, I mean it literally blew this whole center section out to the point where it caught part of her desk on fire. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but there's a black mark here, 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 and here. Watch my drill. Where shards of the glass flew out of the bowl and literally caught on fire in the desk. I'm glad we were here. Now, I ordered the new lights from Tiffin and we're going to install them today. The only difference is, because it's typical RV fashion, the old ones had a black frame. Can't get them anymore. And I can't figure out where they were purchased from originally. So the new ones have this silver frame. So, basically what that meant is I had to order all three, one, two, three, for this section of the RV. That's, I think that's the only section we have those kind of lights, but they weren't cheap. I want to say they were around, you remember? I want to say they were like $200 for the three, three bulbs. But it was over a hundred. It was over well over a hundred. In the mid, maybe mid 150, 160 after yeah. shipping, up to about 180. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire these back up today. Put the new ones in. Basically, they're held in by two small Phillips screws, which are right here in the package. And we're gonna take the other two out. I'll keep them in spares. As you can see, the center sections pop out. I mean, technically, I could just take the center piece out right here and mount it in that black ring and only change one. But the problem is, better off showing you over here. This one, the new one, has a clear ring and that one has a black ring, so they're all black. So, I opted just to change them all. So that's what we're gonna do. So, the first thing, and I, I'm gonna do this kind of my way because we're in, we're parked right now and I have the air conditioners running, it's blazing hot out. And I'm, I'm gonna wire it hot, as they say. Um, I don't recommend anybody else doing this, but it's 12 volt, so 12 volt won't hurt you. I've already tested it. I've been shocked by 12 volt more than once in my life. The right way to do it is to flip your 12 volt switch up by the door and uh, go without power. But then I'll be do I would be doing it in the dark, and I don't really want to do it in the dark. A 12 volt shock's not anything that's gonna hurt you so to speak it may make you jump a little bit but not that big of a deal again I'm not telling anybody else to do this you do it your way we are not responsible I'm not responsible if you do it this way and you get a shock and your pacemaker blows out or something I don't <laughs> I don't know but uh, I'm gonna do it this way and uh, see how it goes so I set the camera up and I'll 
That way, if I do get nuked, you can watch. <laughs> so, we'll get started. Oh, the tools you're going to need, or at least that I'm using today, I am using a little multimeter. That's what I'm going to check the voltage with. A pair of wire strippers, which I got on Amazon, that work really good. Of course, your cordless drill with a Phillips spit. I have another pair of wire strippers, a pair of side cutters. I'm using these connectors, which are also heat shrink, all built in. Heat gun, and that should be it. And of course, I'm going to use my trusty headlight, which also can be found on Amazon. So let me get this camera set up. We'll get it done, hopefully. Not any issues. Be careful with these heat guns. Once you're done with it, this part is really hot, so you don't want to sit down in nice furniture and burn something. Well, here's the finished job. And you see Tiffin use connectors in there apparently when they put it together, but they didn't heat shrink those. So, just gonna wait for it to cool. And once it cools, we'll put it back up. All right, so we got them all done. And uh, I'll show you the finished product. So there they are. There's the middle one, that was the hardest. Because of the uh, shortage of wiring at the Tiffin plant that day. And then here's the other one. Um, So a couple things I would note, every time, and I mean every time, I've worked on something on this coach, it's never gone as planned. There's always a little surprise in store for you. It's almost like a game they play when they build these things. So always gotta be prepared for that. I was lucky enough to, to uh, be able to get that wire to wire connectors on which would I mean that was any shorter I never would have made it and the only option would have been at that point is to leave the old light up there which wouldn't look cool because it would have been black and then two silver so I'm kind of a particular about that kind of thing uh, so there's that uh, so I believe the lights were $47 a piece uh, and uh, one thing if you have these type lights in your coach, I personally 
wouldn't recommend leaving them on if you're not there. Because I just, I know when we were sitting in the coach when ours blew up and it literally exploded like a firecracker. I had just turned it on. And shards of stuff went everywhere and they were on fire on top of that desk. So I don't know what, you know, typically most people have a uh, recliner there. And I don't know what would have happened if the recliner had been there, you know. So I know that I won't trust them when we're not here. If we're here, I'll have them on, but you know, in the room. I really only use it when I work. And you know, I would have taken personally. I would have taken them out because that's how unsafe I think they are. But I would have been left with the holes and had to figure out something else or some other type of light. According to uh, Tiffin, they don't have an issue with them, but you can see the proof of that one. It literally blew the whole LED circuit board out of it. So, and it wasn't a power surge or anything like that. It just went. And so, who knows? But that's my recommendation. So, uh, all right. Well, that's it. That's the Sunday solution for today. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, should have been a 10 minute job turned into about a half an hour job, but uh, you know, that's how it goes when anytime you work on one of these things, you, you know, screws strip out, things don't fit right, the whole nine yards. So, thumbs up. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.